Hello everyone! Today is one of two theatre trips for me this week, which I'm very excited about. This is actually quite a last minute one. I was on Twitter the other night and someone had retweeted this saying that there was a spare ticket going for a side show tonight and I think it's a sold out show. I think it might be press night, but I'm not sure. And I want to see the show. I was actually going to book a ticket and then I thought, you know what, may as well take up this offer. It's at the Southwark Playhouse and I haven't been there since I saw Dogfight I believe which was like two years ago now. Two years? One year? Two years! I'm pretty sure. It's got a few people in it that I've seen in shows before, I know and love, so I'm super excited to see the show and you guys can come along with me. Hello everyone, as usual I'm doing my review part of it the next day because it's just late at night and everyone else is asleep so you don't want to be talking loud in the house. So obviously I went to see Sideshow at the Southwark Playhouse. Beautiful programmes they have for it as well and they're only £3 which is great. And I just want to talk about the show and the cast. They're actually having their press night well, tonight, but hopefully the video I've got tomorrow. Um, so they're having their press night this week, so I saw it the day before, basically. Like most shows that I go to see, I didn't have a clue what it was gonna be about. I didn't know if I was gonna know any of the songs from it and things like that. I knew the three main characters, um, I knew the cast members that play them, and I, I trusted that they would be brilliant. So I knew I was gonna like enjoy the show because of their vocal and their vocals and talent. Anyway, as you can tell by the program, I think you can tell, um, the two main characters are conjoined twins, conjoined Siamese. They are literally joined at the hip. They've obviously had a bit of a different life because of that. I suppose I should have guessed it by the name of the show, but these twins are in a sideshow and then like it's kind of like a circus and then the show follows their life kind of previous to that and afterwards. So it's a really interesting story. I really enjoyed it. It's something very different to what I normally see. I definitely wasn't expecting it to uh, be as nitty gritty in parts. <laughs> now I want to talk about the cast because they were awesome. The show kicked off with this really incredible ensemble number and it was just so powerful and immediately we were like bang we are watching this show we are here it was just it was really awesome and it, it really well introduced all of the different characters basically they call the sideshow um, ensemble a bunch of freaks basically so it did introduce every character and their different quirk. They are led by Christopher Howell playing Sir and he is basically kind of the, the, the manager, the boss of the sideshow and it's really interesting to see him play a role like this. It's really mean and quite scary at times so it was really awesome to see Chris play a role like that. Then obviously you have Louise Dimon and Laura pitt Pulford as the twins. I've seen them both in different shows, Louise mostly in Wicked. I think the last show I saw her in was Water Babies which was a couple of years ago now and then Laura pitt Pulford. I think I last saw her in The Light Princess and I mean they're both just phenomenal and I, watching them because they have to be joined at the hip and everything they do is together and just the choreography and the way they manage that is so incredible to watch. It's it's like doing a three-legged race for two hours. It's amazing. They really executed it very well. Even though in my mind I was like obviously they're not joined but I got really emotionally kind of invested into as if they were real conjoined twins. Like oh that must be such a struggle and oh is that not painful and I just kind of forgot that they obviously weren't. <laughs> they worked incredibly well together. You do have to have two well suited actresses like paired together for a role like that and they did it incredibly well. Because most of the ensemble were wearing masks it was really hard to tell at first if I recognised people or not because there's some faces and voices that are like I'm sure I've seen them at a show before. So in the interval I went and picked up a programme and then I was like oh yeah must have seen that person in this show and so and so in there and that's always really nice I think to be able to flick through a programme and, and recognise those faces again. Someone who really really stood out for me was Jay Marsh playing Jake. He gets some really big moments in the show and his voice is incredible. I swear I say incredible all the time, but it really was. It, it really had a 
um, either a Javert or Jean Valjean kind of tone to it. I think he would be great for a role like that. It was just such a powerful voice. Another thing, talking about the voices in general, the Southwark Playhouse, it's a, it's a fringe theatre, it's very lovely. Definitely recommend going to see something there. I swear it's got bigger since I was last there. I last saw Dogfight there. And it feels like it's higher now. So if someone knows if they've like increased the height of the theatre, please let me know because it was bugging me the whole time. The set, by the way, was beautiful as well. But there are moments where you truly forget that you're in a fringe theatre. You are absolutely getting West End quality in this theatre and that's usually the case with the Southwark Playhouse. The stuff produced and put on there is of such a high calibre that you're paying like a third of the price to see something that is on par with things that are on in the West End. Aside from the twins and the Sir character, the other two kind of main roles were um, Terry and Buddy, who are these kind of like American agents, and they were played by Dominic Hodson as Buddy and Hayden Oakley as Terry, and they were so good. It's just, they have a really interesting arc through the show, and it was really fascinating to watch. They're both really talented. And I think I actually must have seen Hayden in the Book of Mormon. And Dominic definitely looks like someone who would fit in the Book of Mormon incredibly well. The other name that I recognised was David Muscat, who was in Billy Elliot. Um, I think he might have been in the final cast. I'm not sure. But yeah, I recognised his name from like a little cast list somewhere. And I was like, where do I recognise him from? And it was Billy Elliot. They were just all so good. This ensemble was so solid. And I think you find that a lot in these sort of um, fringe productions. They're just all incredibly talented. And some of them, it looks like they've only just kind of come out of theatre school. So it's really amazing and lovely to see kind of their first shows in the industry. As I mentioned very briefly, the set was incredible, so beautiful and the way that they use these versatile sets in fringe theatres I just find really fascinating because they've only they've got very limited space to work with and the way they use it it's just a joy to watch. Sideshow is on at the Southwark Playhouse until the 3rd of December so you've got just over a month to go and see it and it's incredible value for money it's an amazing amazing show you're literally getting West End quality in a intimate wonderful fringe theatre so you would be stupid to miss it. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me in the future. I do lots of theatre videos like this. So yep, I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.